everyone. Welcome back to your midweek motivation. Thank you so much for subscribing and liking my previous vlogs. Today's vlog is all about how to recover from a weekend binge. We all do it. We don't want to do it. We go out to have a little bit of an indulgence and we come back having a really big indulgence. So here are four things you should be doing after having a bit of a binge day. Number one, get back to scratch and eat clean. There's no reason why you should be living on your Sunday or on your Saturday by repeating the same mistakes. Go ahead, get back to scratch and eat your veggies, eat your fruit, some high protein and some good complex carbohydrates, making sure that you've not got a high intake of sugar and salt, but overall just give your body the nutrients and the nourishment that it's kind of been lacking over the weekend or that it just needs to get back into. Remember, we need to feed our body properly, so give it the fuel that it deserves. Often, especially when you've had a bit of a, a binge day or an indulgence weekend, we have so much sugar and salt that our body ends up expecting it. Don't cave in. Even if you're craving the sugars, craving the salts, let it go, jump back straight into it. As quick as your body adapted the first time, it'll adapt just as quick coming back to it. Number two, get back into your fitness regime. That means if you're a gym goer, get up, go straight back to the gym the next day. Or if you're a person who works out at home, the exact same principle, get up, do your workout. There's no reason why you shouldn't. And it will really allow you to again, readjust, readapt, but it'll also allow you to really reduce the bloat, reduce any inflammation. And the good thing is, is because you've eaten so much, you've got a high amount of energy. So use those glycogen stores and really either go full pelt in the gym by lifting heavy or do a really high intensity interval training or a high intensity cardio session, but really use all of that energy that you've accumulated over the weekend. Number three, water, water, water. Let's flush out all of those nasties that you've had on the weekend. Flush out all those toxins. Let's get rid of all that inflammation and really just start to recharge your body. That means you need to be drinking enough water. So make sure you're flushing out with at least two liters, depending on your weight, your height, etc. But on average, two liters of water get it down you as well as all those green teas, herbal teas, hot water with lemon, really, really good for detoxification, but get it down you. Last but not least, number four, leave the past where it is in the past. You can't do anything about it now. Don't be guilty. In fact, enjoy the fact that you went out, you had a really good time. Food shouldn't be about guilt. Food should be pleasure. Go out, enjoy yourself, but then leave it where it was. Don't carry that guilt with you over the week. Just think of it as, do you know what? I did that. It was a really good day. I really enjoyed that pizza or whatever it was. And that was then. This is now, I'm bang on it. It doesn't matter about how many pounds I've gained. I'm gonna lose that in the next couple of days. It doesn't matter how bloated I am this morning. I'm gonna lose that in a couple of days. Really just jump back into a fresh week. It's a new chapter for you. So let go of the guilt. Let go of all those horrible feelings that you had and embrace the fact that you had a lovely meal. You had a really good weekend. And now here's a fresh new week, a fresh start for you to do your body some real good stuff. I hope you enjoyed that vlog. If you need, if you know somebody who needs to let go of that guilt and really wants to learn how to recover from your, their weekend binges, make sure you share this video, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you have any other questions for me, please don't hesitate to let me know. Have a lovely week. See you later.